Dave, League One is the lowest division that Leeds have been in in their whole history, but the average crowds here at Ellen Road this season have been over 23,000, and their Boxing Day attendance of 33,000 for the visit of Leicester City was the biggest crowd of the season in all three divisions of the entire Football League. Make no mistake, this is still a very big club in the making. Cares with the early ball forward. Well, I think the team talk at half time from Kenny Jackett would be pretty simple to be honest with you. They didn't do too much wrong, Millwall. They were undone by a piece of, of magic. Say for that, not much between these two teams. Well, Kenny Jackett can be well pleased with his side's first half performance their season in general so far. Good play from Robinson, who got that blow on the head uh, in that first half uh, collision, shall we say, with Fusini, who was yellow carded, and three cautions issued by Alan Wiley. And here he is again. Gets his own back, so to speak, with that tackle, and Duffy went in hard on Dickinson, but it was a, a firm and fair tackle by both players. I don't know if the assistant referee's flag for a free kick here. No, just a lead's throw. It was a good, strong challenge, wasn't it? Back in by Cray. It's Fusini. And again. Leaves it to Duffy this time. Craig. Frampton. Quickly closed down by Snodgrass. And he took his time, Frampton. I think he's a bit annoyed because there wasn't really much movement in front of him in his defence. Had to wait and wait, and in the end, closed out of it. Boulder. Too far for Abdu. <laughs> Duffy gets it away from Robinson at the expense of a throw in. Simon Grayson, of course, back at the club where his playing career began over 20 years ago now, although it was really uh, Leicester City where he enjoyed most of his success as a player. Dickinson hits it long, looking for Beckford. Good header away by Whitbread. Clouds lay off to Alexander. Frampton joining in down the left. He just played it in behind his teammate. Here's Delph, Beckford. Runs from the crowd, but it was unlucky. Robinson. Here's Beckford. Robinson down injured again. That's Whitbread intercepts for Millwall. And now Martin has lost possession as well. Abdu. Tackles flying in. Oh, are they? Absolutely flying in. It's good conditions for sliding along the ground and getting tackles in. But as I said before, a missed time one. Could find himself in trouble. What is it? Good old-fashioned English game, though, being sensibly refereed by one of the best in the business. Here's McLeod. With Fred's interception. And the American kept on going. Frampton. Abdu. Here's Boulder. Back to Cray. Fairly positively again in the second half, Millwall played much of it. Not only four minutes in, but much of it has been played in this Leeds United half. Okay. On by Beckford, reaches Trundle. Difficult play to shake off the ball, Lee Trundle. There's Robinson. Trundle. Oh, he went very deliberately for that top corner. 
We've seen it before, haven't we? Just as we've seen Beckford cut in and curl him into the top corner. We've seen Trundle chip the ball over goalkeepers many a time. Didn't get enough on it. Just scored one goal in his five appearances so far. Alone from Bristol City. That's Millwall threaten again here. And the goalkeeper was just about there ahead of McLeod. And once again, brilliant, brilliant play from Dave Martin. Goes through two or three challenges and rifles it across. And McLeod is millimetres away from getting on the end of that. They come leads again with Beckford. Robinson. to get into the uh, position, but much too much on the cross. He was always stretching, wasn't he? 19,314. Does know that this game isn't out of sight just yet? They've had leads overturned four times already this season. Be half a concern. certainly playing well enough to get back into this and they've earned themselves a free kick here got a problem with Robinson at the moment Leeds United a bit of activity on the touchline I think they might be uh, thinking about making the changes now Duffy goes down injured the Millwall player it's heavy going out there as we say the challenges are flying in Thick and fast. Looks doubtful, doesn't he? He does. And this is his debut, remember? Player they signed from Portsmouth. Most of his five years at Bratton Park have been spent out on loan. He had a couple of spells at uh, Coventry City. And that's a big disappointment for him yeah. if he has to come off. I just wonder if that was anything to do with the collision he had with the advertising hoardings in the first half. Limping after that. Delayed reaction if it was, but uh, sadly for him, he can play no further part in the game. It might have been that collision that hurt them both. Anyway, on in his place is a man who's been uh, regularly playing at right back before Duffy's arrival, Alan Dunn, Irishman from Dublin, who came through the world's excellent youth system. Jacket in his first full season in charge of the Londoners. They were in the relegation places when he replaced uh, Willie Donachie three months into last season. Ended up finishing 17th. And they've had a really good start to this campaign. He was very successful, of course, in his three years as manager of Swansea. Of course, it's another injury that with a, a small squad, Kenny Jacket can well afford, really. That's true enough. As Martin makes progress down the left. Well, that has to be surely a card. Certainly a free kick. Douglas the man. Well, he acknowledges it. Jonathan Douglas, he knows. Alan Wiley's got absolutely no option again. Keep saying it. Brilliant wing play. Just gets a little tug. Martin, he looks a real threat. If I were Millwall, I'd be getting the ball out there to Dave Martin as often as I possibly could. As you saw, it means Jonathan Douglas won't be available now for the uh, match against Hereford. But maybe there's a worse fate about to befall Leeds. Good position this for Millwall. Good bread has come forward, so has Craig, the other centre-back. We know that Alexander's a good header of the ball. back in the end, which seemed a strange decision and surely the wrong one here's Dell with Brett back to uh, rescue the situation for Millwall he throws in himself into the tackles doesn't he, Fabian and Dell takes no prisoners Cassini 
it's going to take time to get accustomed to the pace of this game and Don was caught in possession then however the referee's given the free kick Beckford saying the ball was won well he clearly won the ball I just think Alan Wiley may be blind side here there's the ball look good strong honest tackle looks confused doesn't he Free kick. It's come out to Boulder. Martin swings it in. It could have gone absolutely anywhere that. Good challenge again from Robinson. Picked up a couple of knocks today, uh, Andy Robinson, but it hasn't stopped him, stopped him uh, giving everything. Two heavy challenges on Fuzzini, hasn't he, since that incident in the first half? Oh, haven't been able to get Izzy McLeod into the game as much as they did in the early stages when he looked a real threat. Still posing the questions, aren't they still? Fuzzini trying to win a corner here, yeah, but he has failed to do so. Goal kick. have lost 11 games this season that's more than any other team in the top half of the table uh, but their 14 wins have kept them in contention just behind the playoff places they've drawn only three times Alexander trying to find McLeod with the through ball Dunn's clearance Him off Douglas but really Marquez there to help out and Beckford held it up well Abdu escaping the attentions of Dell. Martin forward for McLeod. It's a shame, like you said, he hasn't been able to get in the, in the game in this second half. Over hit pass there. He's always looking to get in behind and use that electric pace. You'd fancy him, wouldn't you, in a straight race with the, either of the lead centre halves? Tall, lean, quick. He's certainly got all the attributes to be a very successful striker in this division. Maybe the one higher. Cleared by Whitbread. Alexander will keep chasing here. Goal to make the uh, points secure in this game. I'm trying to think of another chance that they've created since the goal actually leads United, and I'm struggling a little bit. Anything, it's been Millwall that have been just asking the questions. Thanks. Here they come again with Martin. Into trouble this time. Pursuing Delph all the way. Dunn's header. Abdu. And the pressure from Douglas. It was the right thing to try. You see, he just slipped in the execution. Beckford. Douglas. Robinson. And once again, Robinson and Fusini clash. Side's been given. I don't think it was him, probably Gary Alexander in the middle. The rain's still lashing down. Pitch is getting wetter. It's getting colder as well. It's, it's a foul as well. Isn't it? yeah. I was just thinking in terms of long range efforts on goal, all kinds of slipping and sliding and skidding. He went in strongly again, but it was Robinson who won that challenge. Here's Trundle trying to lay it back into the path of Beckford. Robinson.
lively game he's had. Cleared by Boulder. Hughes. Snodgrass. Took his time, and that enabled Whitbread to intercept. Douglas misjudging the header. However, he's got a free kick. Again, Alan Wiley's right. Harry Alexander just made a back for Douglas. Delph a bit hasty with the free kick. They need to run shot themselves in the foot there. McLeod. Here's Boulder. Frampton. Back to Whitbread. Pushing the back on McLeod, not been given. Boulder, Alexander. And Boulder there to win it back. Martin. McLeod finding Alexander. And that was a push. Free kick in a really dangerous position. Marquez just getting a little bit too tight to Gary Alexander. He's a big, strong lad. Just going to hold him up without committing the foul. Is this what Millwall have been waiting for? Opportunity to get a decent strike at goal. Let's try and work the goalkeeper. Martin has scored. Remember when they beat uh, Leeds earlier in the season over the ball? Along with Boulder. Well, maybe another option. <laughs> Goalkeeper, I think, confidently had that red. I, I think. Yeah, I was going to say because Gary Alexander is holding his head, and I'll tell you what, I don't think the goalkeeper's getting anywhere near this if this is a yard lower. Super strike, smidgen high. And how unlucky has he been? That first half effort scrambled away off the line. And that free kick, very close. gone forward for this Leeds United free kick to be taken by Delph. Robinson. Anyway, who was the for Dickinson? However, if we saw that challenge, there's a foul. That's a bit of a soft one at first glance. Say, he hasn't got much wrong, Alan Wiley, tonight. Oh, that's a little bit of a soft one for me. And out of that, Dickinson has earned a corner. So the crowd behind that goal, trying to suck that ball into this net. They could do with that extra goal leads. Snodgrass takes the kick. And there was a push there, spotted by the linesman. It's going to be a free kick. This ball is put in at pace. Oh, Jermaine Beckford. Well, I'll tell you what, the officials cannot possibly have seen that, have they? Because if they have, he's off. Well, they haven't seen it properly. Pure and simple. And he is a very, very lucky boy. He's not happy, gets involved. Goalkeeper comes up and there's the arm. That is, you cannot do that. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. And that's the other side of it. Such a talented player. That is highly unnecessary. He's very lucky to still be on this football pitch. That should have been a red card. I 
wondering if it was the initial push that the uh, linesman spotted. But then again, why a yellow card? Well, they can't possibly have seen that clearly. Well, Harris has just come on from Millwall, incidentally. That's McLeod off. Haven't been able to get him in the game in the second half. Still having a chat about that incident. It's indefensible. Legendary goal scorer on now the wall. Can he make a difference? Trying to get involved straight away here. Scored more goals than any player in Millwall's long history. Certainly has got involved straight away. And Robinson breaks clear for Leeds United and finds Beckford. Inside it through the Delft. Challenge is still flying in from both sides. Here's Douglas Robinson. Dunn keeps it in. Abdu, Harris, how bold that. Martin already making ground down the left flank, but that's too far ahead of him. That's a shame. Nice, neat, sharp passing. Just over hit at the end of it. Just confirming the uh, change with McLeod being replaced by Neil Harris. Oh, we know he's got a goal in him, don't we? Harris, all these years, and now he could do with one from him now. He scored twice when they beat Leeds 3 1 back in October. Boulder. Good play from Alexander. A dangerous cross. The goalkeeper had to keep his eyes on that one. Oh, that is a great cross. I see Neil Harris trying for all his worth to get across this near post. Great striking play. Held it up. Found the winger. The winger works half a yard, and that's a good ball in. And Neil Harris trying to get on the end of it. Cleared by Frampton. Martin. Looking ahead to Wednesday night on Sky Sports 1, the Republic of Ireland play Georgia. That's live from 7. Dickinson's clearance. Forward by Douglas to Beckford. He's playing a free kick. There's an excellent ball. Robinson picking out Delph. Too much on the cross. Frampton gets it away. Well, he didn't have a choice, uh, Fabian Delph. They were just put to stand that ball up and allow people to try and sprint in and attack it. Arguing with the referee Wiley about the earlier challenge. Goalkeeper hesitated there as Craig headed it away. And the goalkeeper hesitated again, but the flag has gone up. Offside, I assume. Free kick to Millwall. He's thick of it, isn't he? Well, I don't know what the flag's gone up for there, to be honest with you. He's clearly onside. Played by Hughes. Here's Douglas. stay seventh in the table but they will then be just two points behind the playoff places it's an important game for them and snow will fall into the offside trap again just over 20 minutes to go 
can certainly see why, why Millwall are up there in League One, up towards the top of that table. Very, very well organised. Not sure what to expect when I came here tonight. Very, very drilled and disciplined team. The only question mark is where the goals are coming from. It's the only thing they've been a little bit short on over the course of the season. from Snodgrass. Dunn goes for the cross with Robinson. He's in the walls again, Robinson. They were both very brave there. It's a brave defensive header. And Robinson launches himself in. Just in case there's a sniff of a goal there. Good strong defending. Right, Dunn. out of play Frampton a little available so too is Martin I think Mr Wiley was quite sure what had happened there a long look at his linesman yeah he didn't really give him any help into Alexander Unlucky. It's a difficult ball to control, isn't it? He's done well all night, isn't he? Gary Alexander holding the ball up for his team. Just getting into that period of the game, though, now where Millwall perhaps is going to have to commit one or two more bodies forward, take one or two more risks. And doing that, obviously, a bit of a gamble. Can't leave the door open for people like Jermaine Beckford. and throws down the line, looking for Beckford. Dell forward to Trundle. Dickinson again. Trundle will chase that into the corner with Craig. And just give him a little friendly nudge along the way, and then a not-so-friendly nudge, but uh, smiles all round. That's what it's all about. Good old shoulder charge. Show a bit of aggression and have a bit of a laugh about it. Well done, lads. That was quite a character. Scouser, Lou Trumbull. Very talented footballer. Turns by Craig towards Harris. Away by Naylor. Snodgrass. Are they uh, to bring on another striker? The Argentine international mentioned before the kickoff, Luciano Pecchio. Lee Tundra is the player he will replace. Pecchio has scored Lee's goal when they were beaten 3 1 at the New Den in October. And he's lost his starting place to Trundle in recent weeks. Very popular here. Over had some time in the Spanish League including spells with Barcelona and Mallorca. He has 12 goals to his name this season. That's his first touch straight away. Naylor's clearance out of play. Time running out for Millwall to rescue something here. It's almost like Leeds have weathered the storm a little bit, isn't it? In the second half, Millwall coming at them, coming at them on the door but unable to knock it down. The wall could snatch a draw here. They will go into fourth place in the table. They've moved above Peterborough. Cassini. Really now Kers did the right thing. Couldn't take any chances then. Of a throw in that was Robinson. 
Gill involved right from the off. He got his first touch within seconds of coming on. Delf. And they should build up play from Leeds United. He was peeled away to the far post, but I'm afraid he's uh, got a long wait. Disappointing cross. Here's Boulder for Millwall. Alexander. Done. And Boulder again. Martin down the left. It's a good cross with the ball if you can find the room. The next best thing. Oh, the angle. This team the corner. There's the big lads to get up there. I'm just wonder now whether this is going to be Millwall's best avenue back into this game. Have a look, dangerous. Two set pieces. Good strong punch out, but it's gone only to Adam Boulder. He did the right thing, Hamlin gets straight back into that crowd of players. Cassini. change here especially Grimes about to come on he's been their most used substitute this season will be his tenth time off the bench as he takes over from Ali Fusini well, this line from Manchester City last summer Harris in short with a layoff with Brad Take too many chances against Beckford. Money. Good play again there from Alexander. Grimes, the uh, new substitute. Oh well, play went down in the area there. It's uh, a do, but there's no hint of a foul as Hughes takes it forward. Do. Good turn by him. Grimes. Let's come back to that do. Martin. Harris near post. Alexander far post. William Marquez got there ahead of both of them. And Abdu shot. Hit his own player, I think. Oh, it's brilliant. Brilliant touch. Brilliant strike. A little bit unlucky. He's had a super game, actually. He's looked lively in the middle of that pitch. The Millwall. Frenchman they signed from uh, Plymouth Argyle last summer. Najim Abdu, Jimmy to everyone at Millwall. Leeds are about to make another change. Bradley Johnson, the winger, coming on. As Naylor delivers it towards Becky. Oh, the header was uh, pretty poor, really. He had a gaping goal in front of him. Not well, in his defence. It's a bit of stretch. It's a real long stretch. Any direction or power. Substitution for Leeds United, replacing number 18, Andy Robinson. Andy Robinson is the player who will come off, who's put in a very good stint. Wholehearted player. And the crowd's applause reflects that. He's been a brilliant capture, hasn't he, from Swansea City. Swansea City. Andy Robinson. Number 16, Bradley Johnson. Johnson's just returned from a lone spell at Brighton, where he was very effective, scoring five goals in ten games. Take the throw, but they made a bit of a mess of the resulting cross. It's tense for both managers down there on the touchline. A little over ten minutes to go. This game's still in the balance. Becchio's flick on. 
turn it to house and that was the intention Alexander it's been a fine match Martin into the space to Grimes Abdu is up with him near the penalty area he's pulled back uh, into a dangerous position to Harris but he got his shot all wrong that was his first touch that's why he wasn't able to get a decent shot away. It's brilliant vision to pick him out. And there, that touch there, it gets closed down very quickly. Let's give credit to Rui Marquez. Becchio, well, good header of the ball, isn't he? Beckford gets it back to the Argentine striker. Did brilliantly there, claiming a free kick and getting one. Flat Hughes and Wiley have not been in perfect position. He's only about five yards away from this as Becchio turns. Is there an arm around him? There's a couple of arms around him. Goes down a bit easy. Alan Wiley spotted the arms. Johnson's only just come on, but it looks as though he might fancy the free kick. Smartness moving around as well, and Delft could play some part in this. Looks like Snodgrass is the player who's going to hit it over the wall and straight at the keeper. Any real direction or pace on that. Oh and away to Whitbread. Here's Delf. Plenty forward for Snodgrass. Becchio and Beckford both in the box. And Johnson arriving. He threw himself at it, and the uh, clearance from Dunn was vital for Millwall. Johnson again. Here's Delph. They just can't get the football now, can they, Millwall? United dominating possession for a little spell. They got it back with Harris. Abdu. Frampton, looking for Alexander, cleared by Naylor. It's good work from Abdu. No real pressure on goalkeeper Ford. Craig, Abdu's there again. Elf wins it back for Leeds. Seven minutes away from a vital three points. Ball for Beckford, the goal scorer. Douglas. Well, keeping possession like this now. Dickinson. To Johnson. A touch of the ball by a player in the all white kit being cheered, but now boos as it's gone back to Millwall. And Kenny Jacket knows the time is running out for his side. to run with the ball, wasn't he? Alexander. Frampton on the left. And that is disappointing. Oh, that's really, really poor. Four or five teammates in the box waiting for a decent cross. They worked it out into an area where he had time and space to deliver. And that's really poor. Time running out as well. Before Grimes made contact. Dead 
Markel. There's Dickinson. Just got his foot caught there by Alexander, who's, who was playing it down the line, and he wasn't too happy about that. It's the assistant referee that's given the decision there. And Leeds have got the free kick. Missed you the smile. Ball. Alexander just trying to block that ball. Stoke takes the free kick himself, looking for Becchio, who's been very good in the air so far, but then pushed the uh, defender Whitbread. Less than five minutes for Millwall to find an equaliser now. Harris was being fouled. I never complains, but it looked a pretty obvious free kick to me. Absolutely right. I didn't have any complaint about that. Jenkins takes it short to Martin. Oh, well, Ankergan has not had that much to do in the second half, but he was suddenly called into action then, and how well he responded. I think the whole ground is surprised that Martin's taken the shot on from there. It's a super strike, isn't it? Goalkeeper nearly caught out. Climbs back to Harris. A lot in the box from the wall, and that is disappointing. Opportunity though as Boulder plays it back in to Whitbread. Martin's there again. We've seen what he can do with that left foot, but not this time. Well, he was always going to shoot, having just had a go that was pretty good. This is the second one. It's the ball out of his feet. He's entitled to strike. Just gets too much bend on it. Lots of power. And this is the previous one. It's a quick free kick by Millwall. It's a brilliant strike. It's going right in the corner, and Ankergren nearly gets caught out. Too hot to handle. Has to help it away. Harris gets it away from Dickinson. And Ruin uh, okay suddenly found himself in two minds then. Millwall are claiming a penalty kick, but the referee has pointed for a goal kick. Well, there's a coming together. I mean, you can see. Look at player reaction as Marquez dwells on this. There's a little coming together there. That's a penalty. And the assistant referee on this side is looking right at this. He's got to help the referee. Doesn't get the ball. Gets Abdu's left, or is it right ankle? He goes over and leads a lucky again. Very strong penalty claim. Final change for Leeds United, Johnny Housen coming on. And I've appreciated the contribution of the man he will replace, Robert Snodgrass. Mason Crowe's goals uh, clinched Leeds' place in the playoff final last season. That's the course. East Doncaster Rovers at Wembley. Harris drives. Pressure from Johnson, but he held him off well. Here's Frampton. Martin ahead of him and Grimes. Here is Martin. Harris comes near post again. Alexander far post. A well practiced drill that. And they can stay forward for the corner. Red makes one more journey forward, but what a waste that is. Well, it's just been such a frustrating night for Millwall all round, isn't it? Have to say things haven't quite gone their way. Pacquiao's head at and volleyed into a Millwall half in which there was not a single Leeds United player. In the final minute now. A substitution, so it'll be quite a bit of stoppage time, I would think. As Dunn picks out Grimes for Millwall. Good run by the substitute. He just won't fall in front of goal for Millwall tonight. Here's Delft doing well. But has he run into trouble now? He's just about got out of it, finding Hughes. Oh, he's been pure class, hasn't he, the boy? Becchio and Beckford both together. 
it uh, prevents what would have probably been a corner. Given away to Delph. Now Hughes. He's looked for him, and he knocks it back. Oh, what an opportunity for the goal scorer to clinch the points. Well, it was. It was a great opportunity. Becchio does really well, spots Beckford, knocks it, and actually there's a collision after the ball's gone. Super little cushion header. Just waiting for the net to bulge once Jermaine Beckford's coming up to this. It's underneath it. Four minutes of stoppage time being played. Harris goes down under pressure, but no free kick given. Sean Millwall will look back at that uh, penalty claim a couple of minutes ago and say that they haven't had too many favours from Mr Wiley tonight. Well, I think it's more the assistant referee. I have to be honest, I don't think Alan Wiley was in a position to see that little tap. He doesn't care who's missed it. All he knows is that his team should have had a penalty. He may well have salvaged the point out of this game. Turn of the assistant on this near side, a very experienced Premier League official. Marching on together, the famous Leeds United song, ringing around Allen Road. And here's a chance for Beckford, and this time he takes it. Oh, doesn't he just? I'll tell you what, the irony's not going to be lost on Millwall. Don't want to dwell on the negative, but should he be on the pitch? The answer's an emphatic no, but he is. While ever he's on the football pitch, he's always capable of doing this. It's the right back done, just plays him onside. That's a, a really emphatic finish. Great knockdown by Becchio again. Once he's in that position, the law of averages says he's going to hit the target, and he did. Goal number 23 of a remarkable season for Jermaine Beckford. I'm sure when they look back at the uh, tape of this game, Millwall will say that he should not have been on the pitch to score that second goal. Very lucky not to be red-carded in that incident earlier in the half. Millwall's resistance has ended. It's a shame. There's lots of positives for Millwall to take from this game. A Kenny Jacket to take from this game. Only query you wonder about the volume of goals you're never going to win all your games 1-0 very very well organized very disciplined team just in the final third things just haven't quite gone their way tonight but he's on the hat trick now Beckford trade between him and goal and the two of them collide he's already scored a couple of hat tricks this season Jermaine Beckford Still, just about time for him to get another. And he's remained forward here. Dickinson got the ball trapped between his feet. And that was a bit of a late challenge, and he wasn't happy with Grimes. Oh, that's frustration. It's silly. It's right in front of the assistant referee. And again, we urge players not to get involved. Leave it to the officials. Wiley standing back, taking it all in, knows precisely what's gone on. It's a late one, it's a rest one, it doesn't make any contact, but the intent is there, and you can see Carl Dickinson not happy, not happy. And that's so often uh, happens, the player who retaliated also goes into the referee's notebook. Pointing there, didn't he? <laughs> aggressive intent, probably. There's a law to cover everything, believe me. <laughs> Dunn's clearance, it's come out to Delft. Hughes. Over the originally allotted sloppy uh, stoppage time now as that sloppy ball almost got Leeds into trouble. Good claiming a free kick. He's had a look at the watch. And 
blows the final whistle. Two goals by their leading scorer, Jermaine Beckford, were enough to win three points for Simon Grayson's side. They stay seventh in the table, but they're now only two points behind Millwall, who occupy the final playoff position. A brilliant first from Beckford, and a fine second as well, but in between that, maybe very lucky to escape a red card in a goal mouth incident that clearly was not seen by the referee. It has finished here, Leeds United 2, Millwall 0.